Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this very nice 2017 Volkswagen Touareg. This one is a Wolfsburg edition. As you can see outside, this one's finished off in a very pretty dark blue exterior. And I will say at the start of this video, I apologize that this one's a little dusty around the edges. This car was just traded in and has not been cleaned yet, but this is such a cool one and these always do well on my channel, so I wanted to get a video of it before it sells. But outside you can see tinted rear privacy glass. You have your body colored door handles as well as your Wolfsburg edition badge right there. Body colored mirrors of course with your blind spot monitoring built in on the side. Typical Volkswagen, your chrome trim around the windows as well as down below. And then up top, this one does have a sunroof as well as your factory roof rails. Around the rear, you can see your rear parking sensors, rear backup camera, as well as your Touareg and V6 badges. This one also does have a trailer hitch down below. You can see your exhaust right there. Trunk on this one is power. Just press and hold on the key fob and it will release it. Press and hold again and it will bring it back down. Coming up to the side, just make sure it's unlocked. Press right here and it will release the fuel cap. And then down below, this one is riding on Michelin Premier LTX tires. They are 275, 45, R20s, so 20-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And everything follows through on this side. As well as up front, you do have HID headlights, your headlight washers from the factory right there, as well as fog lights down below. Go ahead and get in this one. does include your typical Touareg key fob. Lock, unlock. Press and hold for the trunk as I showed, press and hold for panic. And then if you press the Volkswagen logo, it will release the physical key fob. Go ahead and step in this one. And the Wolfsburg edition does give you the very pretty two-tone leather interior. I just love the look of this. You can see your black on the edges and then the light in the middle. All weather floor mats down below. And like I said, I apologize about how dirty this one is, but this is how it was traded in. Go ahead and start it, insert the key, and just flick. Go ahead and close the door. And once you're inside, you can see this one does have the leather wrap steering wheel, your audio system controls, as well as controls for the center display, adaptive cruise control back here. Nice and light electric power steering as well on this one. Up top on the door, it's all typical Volkswagen, nice, high-quality padded material. Do have more of the light leather around here, as well as padding on your armrest. All four automatic windows, power locks up here, as well as your heated power mirrors, your rear child lockouts as well. Down below, storage, your trunk release. I also did forget to mention, this one, of course, has a full power driver's seat. Headlight controls over here, they are automatic, as well as your fog lights. Engage dimmer right there. Like I said, very nice. This one is equipped with adaptive cruise. In the middle, you can see your gauges, your engine temperature, tachometer, speedometer, and fuel gauge. And then from right here, you can bring up all kinds of different things on the display, um, even your audio, navigation, phone, things like that. You can see this one has just over 67,000 miles. The dashboard itself is all soft touch, high quality material. I mean, very, very nice. It looks and feels great. You can see your air vents with some piano black trim around them over here. It's also some silver trim on the dash. Up top, do you have storage inside of there. Your heated steering wheel controls, as well as if you press this, will bring up your parking assist, as well as you can bring up your backup camera, hazards, and then your passenger airbag indicator. This is Volkswagen's kind of typical infotainment system from the time. AM, FM, Bluetooth audio streaming, auxiliary in, um, satellite radio, everything you'd expect, and it sounds fantastic. Very nice, simple to use. All of your preset stations will show up there. This one is equipped with navigation, as I mentioned. You do also have live traffic, um, your phone controls. You can bring up your climate on the display as well. Down below, your dual zone, automatic climate controls, zone for the driver, zone for the passenger. This one also is equipped with heated as well as cooled seats, your AC, fan speed, and everything else. All the aluminum trim in the center, very typical Volkswagen, and it looks great. Storage in there. Back here's the shifter for your eight-speed auto. This one is equipped with. You can go between drive and sport mode, and then manual over here. 
reverse. As I mentioned, this one does have a rear backup camera as well as your front and rear parking sensors. You have your on-road and off-road controls right there, traction control on and off, and then two cup holders as well as some storage right there. Your armrest in the center is split adjustable, which is very nice. Typical Volkswagen as well. And inside, you have more storage as well as your USB in there. Seats are very comfortable. I mean, honestly, Volkswagen seats are usually pretty flat, but these actually have a very nice backrest. They're a high quality material as well with the perforations for your cooled seats, and I just love the way they look. Up top, sunroof, just press right there, and it will send the shade all the way back. And then from here, you can press, and it will vent it, or just crank, and it will open it. You do have a wind deflector up front. All of your interior lighting controls, garage home link up there, and everything else, as well as your auto dimming rear view mirror. I mean, overall, just a great place to be inside. This is a really well equipped car for what it is, too. Go ahead, step out, unlock everything, pop the hood. Stepping into the rear seat of this one, everything follows through material quality wise. Padded up top, your aluminum trim, and then padded leather. You can see the seats back here, the same really cool two tone. You can fold them down, just release, and they will fold flat. But stepping in, I'm six foot two. This seat is honestly a lot further back than I would sit, and I can still sit behind myself, no problem. Do have back seat pockets on each side, as well as the all weathers follow through back here. In the middle, you have two power outlets, two air vents, some more storage. And up top, you can see your sunroof. I mean, just a great place to be inside of here. Armrest in the middle with two cup holders, and this insert is removable. Like I said, the seats back here are the same beautiful two-tone. And I know I keep saying it, but this one hasn't been cleaned, and this is how good it looks inside. Up top, lighting, those are your handles. And as I mentioned, you can turn your uh, rear child locks on from up front. Inside of the trunk, which as I showed is power, just press release. Very nice too, you do get the metal trim on the bumper to protect it loading things in and out. Inside, this one does have your Volkswagen cargo protection system. So you do get these blocks, which are Velcro on the bottom. And you can kind of stick them around, form your own uh, little storage compartments. Things like that, I mean, you kind of get the idea. You can use them also just to hold things in place or remove it if you don't want it. Up top, you can see this actually does have its own uh, set of rails it will sit on to keep it up and out of the way. Right here, your roadside assistance kit, which looks like it has never been used. You can see that's also in the packaging. Right here, you can drop the rear seats down. Just pull, and they will release. Obviously, that headrest is out, so it wouldn't go down all the way. Below there, you do have your spare tire and everything else down there. Just a very nice SUV. I've always been a fan of these Touaregs. And I'm sure at some point in this video, I've probably called it a Tiguan, because I always do that with these. Backseat from this side, everything follows through. As well as up front, power passenger seat, all of that, very nice and simple to use. I believe this is actually a uh, thigh extension, which is really nice. And of course, inside of here includes all of your owner's literature, everything like that. This one is so nice, I would not be surprised if the window sticker was in there. And up front, we'll go ahead, cut the headlights on, as well as the fog lights. And up front, you can see your projector HID headlights, fog lights down below, and then under the hood on this one. It is equipped with Volkswagen's 3.6 liter V6. Everything under here, running fantastic, in great shape. Just needs a bath. And honestly, driving this around with this engine, more than enough power, 
I'm sure you'll get great gas mileage with that eight-speed auto as well. Go ahead, bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. And headlights back in auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.